a simp, a man who disrespects himself for women. This is Radical Self-Respect with Jared Mello. I have an ebook and an audio book by the same name. It'll actually help us to not be simps anymore. So guys, if you have the courage to admit you've done some simping in the past, check out this book, please. Also, share this content with others who you think might benefit. Now, this is going to be part of my simp rehab series, and this really should have been video number one. But what is a simp? I brushed over it in the first video, but I'm going to circle back here. So a simp is a man who disrespects himself for women. And here's the thing. Two guys can say the same exact things, but for one person it's simping, and for the other person it's not. Why might that be? Because it depends on the past history of the interactions between the man and the woman. For example, if the woman's ignored you in the past, but you continually message her anyway, that is disrespecting yourself, and hence being a simp. And this is even a trickier part, and I admit doing this before. I've had women ignore me before, but I've simped through <laughs> to my discredit. But it wound up working, and I wound up getting with the person. But I had to simp to do it. And in my frame today, I am not willing to do that anymore. Because when we do that, yes, it could work. But we're disrespecting ourselves in the process. We're teaching others that it's okay to disrespect us. And we're moving into the woman's frame when we do that. So being ignored is just one example of women disrespecting us. And I don't recommend pushing forward too much after that because if a woman's really into us, they'll swim across the ocean to be with us. They'll make their intentions very known and they make it easy for us when they're into us. And there really isn't too much in between here. It's like either they're into it or they're not. So what other kind of ways will a man disrespect himself for a woman? He'll bend over backwards for her, buy things for her, all in the hopes of gaining her favor. And all the while, she wouldn't even lift a thumb to help you. That is a major example of simping because that guy is disrespecting his resources, is disrespecting his money, and is piling it towards some woman who doesn't even really care. Like, yeah, it probably helps her, but if the shoe was on the other foot, that woman would not do a thing. That's why it's disrespectful. And as a guy, I'm not saying you can never help a woman, but you'd want to make sure it's the kind of woman that if there's a time when you would need help, she would be willing to do something for you. And she would jump through some hoops for you to help you. But there's a lot of women right now they just collect simp attention and they collect simp resources and they love it. And unfortunately, they never get called out on it. And they always have what seems like a sea of simps still there to give them an abundance of their time, their attention, their resources. And that's another part of simping. When we give our attention to people that just don't deserve it. Like, if someone's not excited to hear from us, if it's not the hell yeah girl, and yet we're still trying to talk to them, even if they are responding, like, if they're not the hell yeah person, next. Simple. Next. Like, our attention needs to be extremely valuable. When we practice radical self-respect, we just don't give our attention to anybody. We want to give our attention to people that actually appreciate it. And there are certain people that will, and there's certain people that won't. And we gotta know the difference. So we gotta respect ourselves and not just give our attention willy-nilly. And the same thing goes with our time. Like, we don't wanna spend our time on women, whether it's chatting them up via text or God forbid seeing them in person or God forbid doing errands for them. Like, that's not what we wanna do. Unless we're certain that that woman's gonna would do the same for us. Because, again, that woman who you think you might be gaining her favor by doing favors for, 
she probably has about another five to ten dudes in that very same spot. And if you were to say no, she'd just go on down the line to the next one. But when the time comes for her to help you out, then all of a sudden she's nowhere to be found. This is why simping is so bad, because it's the ultimate display of disrespect towards ourselves. And again, to reiterate, it doesn't mean we can never do nice things. It doesn't mean you can never help a woman out. That's not simping. The simping crossed the line when we disrespect ourselves. And our time, our attention, our resources, those are the big three ways that men disrespect themselves. Now, sometimes I think people confuse simping for like white knighting and blue pill alphas. They're, uh, they're very guilty of white knighting, defending the lady's honor in front of others and standing up for them in the, in the face of criticism. And that's another thing about it. Women don't need that. Women, in my opinion, most of them have more self-confidence than 90% of men these days. And they're more assertive than 90% of men. And they don't need your help. Like, they're fine. They've been inundated with the strong, independent women narrative for quite a long time now. And they've been built up. They've been gassed up by our society. So they're not afraid at all. They got more balls than most men do, honestly. And so that's another reason why they don't need white knights. They're good. Like, they're good. A lot of men, they think women are a certain way, meek and weak, etc. But that's not how they are. In fact, it's the opposite. Most women, they're on top of it. And they, they act more manly than most men. And they would love it for guys to call, it out, call them out on it in some cases. They might get annoyed at first, but they want to find a man that has more balls than they do. It's just how it is. And when we're simping, we're moving into a woman's frame, we're disrespecting ourselves, disrespecting our time, our assets, our resources, and our attention. We want to look out for the women that are hell yeah about us. And I'll tell you, when you really divide it like this, if it's not a hell yeah, it's an F no. Because when you think about it in that light, this is one of the principles of radical self-respect, Women pretty easily fall into one of two categories. They're that hell yeah person and they're into us, or they're giving us one word answers, or they're not interested or curious about us at all. But if a woman starts maybe asking some questions, engaging in the conversation a little bit, oh, okay, that girl might be into us a little more. But a lot of guys try to barrel right through where they're getting ignored, or it takes them hours to days to respond. And this is, women get upset when they're called out on that because, oh, I was busy. But don't ever forget, gentlemen, if a woman was really into you, she would make time for you. And she would respond 100%. Now, they won't say they'll forget because if you're on her mind, she's going to respond. And I heard something once that said, whenever someone says they don't have time, replace that with you're not a priority. And that's really what they're saying. And that goes for any events in our own lives too. Say we're putting something off and we say, oh, I don't have time. Really, we're saying that activity is not a priority because our actions display what our true priorities really are. And again, people might even think their priorities are different, but our actions speak loudest of all. So what we're doing in our day-to-day -day lives those are our priorities, but no matter what we say. And this is true for men, and this is true for women. And so if a woman's into us, she's going to respond. She's not going to take hours and hours and hours, in most cases, and not, or God forbid, ignore us. Like That's, not, that's just not going to happen. So we got to know what the score is, and we got to know it's never attractive to simp. Because I think even women... I think they disrespect their simps. They don't even look, they look down on them. And, and they probably think they're pathetic deep down and they get annoyed by them. It's like, I can't believe this guy is such a sucker to be doing everything I say like this just for the hopes that he might sleep with me one day. And it is kind of pathetic when you think about it. Like if we respect ourselves, 
Why would we put ourselves through that? And so really the simp epidemic is really just an epidemic of men who disrespect themselves for women. That's why I wrote this book, Radical Self-Respect, to be the antidote to things like this. When we practice radical self-respect, we are not simping. And full disclosure, I don't practice radical self-respect perfectly. It's a principle I strive for. I try to strive for it each day. Sometimes I fall short and I think, damn it, I disrespected myself in this situation. I shouldn't have done that. But I pick up the pieces and I try to go back at it stronger the next day. And I don't beat myself up about it either. Because yeah, hell yeah, I was a simp back in the day. Absolutely. And when I look back at my life in the teens, early 20s, mid 20s, I look at the things I've done and I'm ashamed of it. I'm like, man, how pathetic was I? I was pathetic. And I actually get I get a little annoyed thinking about it. But all I can do is say, hey, that's how I was then. I was a blue pill conditioned dude. I put women on the pedestal. I thought they were better than me. And that's another thing simps do. They think women are better than them. And everything in their actions proves it. That they think that woman is better than them. And that if that woman were to spend a little bit of their time or a little bit of their attention or God forbid give some sex to that guy, it'd be doing that guy a huge favor. And women don't want that. Women want the guy that the woman's going to think to herself, oh, I'm lucky to be with that guy. But when a guy simps for a woman, he robs the woman of that feeling. The woman no, never thinks to the about the simp, oh, I'm super lucky to have this guy. No, she does not think that at all. She thinks the guy who respects himself, practice radical self-respect, is on his mission and purpose and has a great lifestyle and is a high value man. She thinks she's lucky to be with him. Don't ever forget that. And so I try not to beat myself up for my past. I was what it was. That person deserves some acceptance too. But it doesn't mean a change wasn't needed. I can accept who I was and understand I still need to change. And I've done that. To my credit, I have changed a lot and I practice radical self-respect and I do my best not to simp. And I don't judge the dudes that do it because I was one of them. And so I'm here to help. If you feel like you struggle with this, I'll reach out to me and I don't judge any of it. I'll tell you the harsh truth, but I'm not going to judge because I've been there. And I'd love to help you practice radical self-respect in your own life. And again, it means not simping. In the romantic world, it means not simping. And that's how we practice radical self-respect in the romantic world. But as men, we have other areas of our lives we should be focusing on as well. Preferably our mission and purpose. And the romantic realm should just be a complement to our lives. And so men, please feel free to reach out if you've struggled with simping in the past or... You're just getting over a breakup and you want to kind of move forward as a better, stronger, more wise version of yourselves. I'm here to help. So reach out to me in my email that's in the description. And please let me know what you think about this video. Do you agree, disagree, like it, not like it? Share it with you think if you think someone you know needs to hear it. So again, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.